And we are now live. Welcome to my second hosting of Podcastness. I'm your host, Razor Tim. To my side, I have Mana Lynx. Say hello. Hey, wow. And where can they find you, Mana Lynx? You can find me on the Twitters and the YouTube that I don't post at, and then on Twitch. Fascinating. And next <laughs> is Trixie Velvet. Hi there, I'm Trixie. You can find me on Twitch at Trixie underscore V. I usually post there, or you can find me on Twitter at Trixie Velvet. Uh, I usually post regular on a regular basis. I usually like to post at night, but yeah, I post a variety of stuff. <laughs> okay. And I believe that's everyone. I don't see anyone else here. Moving on. That's crazy. Who said that? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you've done this. I've done so much <clears throat> in my life. I don't remember what's what. Hey, so, Pluto's stranger, here. who are you? Oh, I'm uh, I'm Pluto. But if I guess if you want to find me somewhere, have a Twitter. As lovely as that sounds. Um, it's a uh, Nebula underscore cone. I, uh, I I draw art that is way too colorful than it needs to be, but that's okay. I also animate sometimes. Nice. So, if everyone's ready for their questionnaires, we're just going to go the same way for most of these as the introductions, just right to left. So it'll be Lynx, Trixie, and then Pluto. So... The question I would like to ask first is, what is your favorite color? Oh, oh I got one. I got to choose. I'm Dude. wearing all of them. You got to pick one. Why uh, not a few? <laughs> oh, I'm guessing like a uh, a light, uh, like a lavender. I love purple. For me, it would have to be magenta. Magenta is my favorite color. Hmm. That's crazy. I also like a shade of purple. Hmm. Nice. How convenient. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. How do we convenient. all like purple? What is this? Well, I don't. Probably oh, yeah, that's true. Like, maybe yeah. like we should all be a team color. Just like <laughs> team, like... <laughs> Lavender or something. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Maybe. So, uh... Hmm. Oh, I know why you all like purples. It's because I'm the only boy here. So anyway... What? That's what? not the case. No way. I'm too manly to pick purple. Anyway... <laughs> what? I thought purple's a pretty manly color, too. Oh, only if you're getting it. Really it, used to mean, it used to have royalty meaning. And now That's it pretty means powerful. It, now it means something else. Unless you're Ganondorf. Then it just means raw power. I mean, isn't power good? Yeah, it depends who has it. Anyway, now that we all know your colors, tell us. Oh, I should ask this first. Uh, starting with mana, what species are you? A link. Really? I couldn't tell from the <laughs> game. No way. I'm blown away. I thought you were another type of cat. <laughs> People call me a hedgehog sometimes what? when I'm streaming. It's like, hi, Sonic. And I'm like, I, uh, I'm female. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's not even that. It's like you. the For only your thing ears. somewhere is blue. <laughs> I, I know, I'm just as confused, but hey. It's not even the right shade of blue. I don't get it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Trixie, what creature are you? Uh, That depends who you ask. Well, I'm I asking am. you. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. We can't just... Uh, I'm actually a red panda, but I also have part human in me as well. So oh. I... The first time people saw me, I was human, but now I am actually Red Panda. And for some reason, this form feels very familiar to me. Like, I've been this form before, but I can't remember when. So... so, so why did you, I... like, transform? Yep, I transformed recently, uh, I want to say about a few months ago. So, I wasn't always this form. 
Uh, but for some reason, it feels like I was this form before, but I can't explain it. It's kind of like deja vu, but yeah, I'm like, I'm like this now. <laughs> like like from a dream or or past life or or something. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, it kind of feels like you know when you put on your gloves, like you have on now, like you know how you used they feel to you. It kind of feels like that. Like I've been this before for some reason. Okay, well, Pluto, tell us, what are you? Uh, I guess the simplest way I, I, hmm. Let's say a fennec fox and a chihuahua had a kid. Aww. But also, oh. if it was in space. Oh, you're, you're one of those dirty half-breeds. It's not dirty. All yeah, right. Correct. I Love concur. It. It's not dirty at all. Correct. You're right. You're a mutt. What? No, 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 no. no. Don't, <laughs> don't put me down to some dog level. Hey, hey, I, I would be no careful mutt. if I were you. Don't, <laughs> don't say such things to her. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't. Don't worry about it. It's not, it's not like that. <laughs> well, I, I've, I've seen your, your streams. Unlike you, I don't have things that people throw at me. Go <laughs> I bruise easily, you see. I have people throw ice cream cones. It's not that hurtful. Can't yeah. handle some ice cream? Yeah, but my feelings will be hurt, and that's what matters. It's okay, Pluto. We'll throw, we'll throw stuffed animals at him, if he could take that. So long as it's not the couch, I'm fine. <laughs> Let me get my work arms out. <laughs> <laughs> throw a couch out. That is terrible. Well, now that we know your species and your colors. Oh wait, what? I didn't even say the name. It's it's yeah. called a chinic. Oh my gosh, how did I a describe chinic. but not say the name? Uh, that's what you are, a chinic. Yes, a chinic. Cool. Interesting. So the next question is, what is your favorite number? Seventy-two. Why 72? I don't know. It's the first number that popped into my head right now. Right Genius. here, right now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Well, Trixie? Uh, okay, I was just waiting for you. <laughs> my favorite number is actually 56. Why I 56? Have... 56 is actually a number I have known since I was a young child. It's something I shared with my dad. Um, my dad's favorite number was 212. And uh, I know it's about 100 more when you add 56 together. But uh, I used to be a racer with that number. And it was something that stuck with me for a long time was, that's my number. That's something I love. And that was something me and my dad shared. So that's why it's my favorite number. <laughs> so follow-up question, what what did you race? Um, I used to race like oh, what were they what would they be called? Cars? Uh, not like cars, but Vehicles? just like do you know what uh a four wheeler is? Kind of like a quad kind of like I'm an American, um... I know what that is. <laughs> okay. I love those. <laughs> Yes, I used to race those with my dad. My dad had a oh. sand rail, and uh, we would race those in, like, the dirt and whatnot. Nice. <laughs> and I had lots of fun, so that's what I got my favorite number, was because of racing in the dirt. <laughs> racing in the dirt and nostalgia. That's a good enough answer as any, if not best. <laughs> Thank you. So, Pluto, what is your favorite number? Gosh, how could I top that last answer? Yo! That number resonates with you. Meanwhile, my number, which is negative eight, just really? came from my favorite show, Gravity Falls. Why? That's all right. <laughs> no one's you ever have like said this whole negative. history. No one's yeah, negative. negative. Why? Why negative eight? That that's the same thing that happened in the show because well, nobody thinks of it. Well, I mean, I... nobody thinks of a negative number, and well, I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, I mean, like, I, I didn't really watch Gravity Falls, so you'll have to explain that. Can I add something, Pluto? If yeah, you have sure. another negative with you, they become positive. Only if you multiply them. Yeah. 
<laughs> only only if they have a baby. That is true. But there are no other negative numbers here. So I guess I'm not in the clear? Correct. You haven't found your negative one yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just just avoid the zeros. <laughs> the zeros. Complete disintegration. Yes. I can't allow that. So well, well, it's a go ahead. Well, you know, you can multiply it by zero. We'll be fine. Just don't divide by them. Otherwise, you'll do us all. Just don't have seven nearby your eight, because seven will eight nine. Oh, oh no, I oh. hate it here. What have you done? I agree. <laughs> Moving what on. What is this? You Trixie. brought the dad joke queens with you. Trixie, you are nearby banned I'm from sorry. all following podcasts. <laughs> sorry. sorry. I'm just a, I'm just a, uh, a red panda, so. <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> perfect, that's a strange way of describing that. Anyway, before our brains melt. Uh... <laughs> so, what is your favorite food, and why? And if you pick something like, you know, pizza, be a bit more descriptive, because pizza could have anything on it. Shoot. Oh, you're going to make me choose. I, I'm i between a normal, basic cheese pizza. I am known for loving cheese pizza. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yep. I also love a good baked potato. Potatoes are good. Yeah. You can't they're, go wrong with potatoes. They're healthy, too. Yeah, you can survive on just potatoes. No one else seems to know this. I know. I've watched game theory or film theory. I mean, I knew this before <laughs> film theory, but yeah. yeah. But is there any? Is I need to add. <laughs> so, is there any but... particular reason you just enjoyed the plain cheese pizza or the potato? Or, or... Well, um, I'm naturally a very picky eater, so I don't like toppings on my pizza, and also oh. baked potatoes are delicious. Oh, you're one of those people. Yeah. You're just like my brother. Yeah. Moving on to Trixie. What is your favorite food? And Okay. I my favorite food is something anybody can make if you have Yay. a little bit of time to spare. No. Um <laughs> I like uh I call it the uh vegetarian scrambler. I make it myself. I usually uh it consists of eggs, scrambled eggs. Um, it also has uh, vegetables consisting of bell peppers, onions, uh, like I think it's spinach, and tomatoes, and you mix them together in like a frying pan, and then you add in its hot sauce and some cheese, some sour cream, and after you get them all mixed up, I usually throw in some hot sauce or some spam if you're uh not a vegetarian like me i usually throw in spam as well if i'm not in a vegetarian mood and then once you mix it all together you got your scrambler and then i serve it with uh really good uh tortilla chips and that way you have like a nice southern border scrambler <laughs> that mm. i can oh, enjoy fantastic <laughs> mm, how dare you make me hungry <laughs> But it's really good. I'd recommend anybody to try it. So that's my favorite food. Okay. Well then, Pluto, what is your favorite food item? Uh, well, I mean, I have quite a few, but I'll, uh, my favorite one from childhood is, uh, <laughs> I, it's not really in English. It's, um, ar arroz con sachichas, which is basically arroz. just rice and sausages. Oh. But the the best I think the best part about it is I like a lot of the time it's really good, but like the same person doesn't always make it in my home. So it it always tastes different each time. It's like an inconsistency. But I I I I, I like all versions all the same. Hmm. Is there a reason why it's your favorite? Uh um, I mean, this topped ice cream. I mean, I I I do love ice cream. But that's I, I love ice. I I love ice cream a lot, but 
I I picked rice with sausages. And that would be because cool. I've had it since uh oh since I was very very tiny. Ah, so from it's nostalgia. Like, yes. You have those rose tinted glasses. Well, it's not too tinted. It's not it's it's not the same as it was before. It's it's always changing, I'd like to say. Oh, it's a different taste to it. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, sometimes it's made with this rice or that rice or maybe the sausages are from the store or from somewhere else. It's I don't know. I I I, I like that it's always kind of different, but or it still always kind of tastes good either way. Or if I'm making it and this one has over a pound of cheese. <laughs> yeah, but I, I guess that is a strange little thing. But I, I don't know. That's why I like it. Interesting. So, let me ask you something, Razor. Do you uh, always need your daily dose of cheese? I do <laughs> like cheese, but I don't need it. <laughs> but you, you can't live without it. I see. Uh, I'm one of those guys. Like, if I have a burger, it needs to have cheese. It just doesn't taste the same to me. What if it was... Same thing with a pizza. Needs cheese. Just doesn't taste the same. Uh, I was about to say that. <laughs> or a grilled cheese. Just doesn't taste the same without cheese. What about vegan cheese? Sorry? Vegan cheese. Would you eat vegan cheese? Sure. I'm not picky. I'll give everything a go. <laughs> uh, vegan okay. cheese made out of... Plants. Oh, oh. that makes sense. <laughs> Well, no, Plant I, cheese. Well, no, I, I've had store brand cheese where it's just mostly water. Water and cardboard? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I believe they call it American cheese. <laughs> Makes sense. So, <laughs> moving on. the uh, Some of these questions I'll say right now, uh, they can be personal. If you don't feel comfortable answering them, just pass because the internet is a scary place. Um, so with that in mind, uh, man of, uh, man of Fox, man of Lynx, what is your age? And again, you don't have to answer this. Uh, well, or you can lie. <laughs> I am 104. No, no, I'm 25. Huh. <laughs> so you're still younger than me, child. Maha. <laughs> Stop yelling at me, child. Trixie. You're not my mom. <laughs> I'm old enough to be your daddy. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Wait, okay, oh, Trixie. Whoa, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. I would again. Oh, my. Um, you're asking me how old I am. Well, yes. and again, if, if you going... don't feel comfortable, you don't have to do that. If we're going by moving years, uh, <laughs> I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I feel older well, than more than a one-year-old, but... Well, uh, I, I mean, the, the point of this podcast is so that your uh, Twitch streamers and followers know more about you rather than... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, again, I would have... But again, that's um, why if you don't want to share anything, then don't. The only thing I've given out uh, from my age is that I was born during the console war. Hmm. No, I'll leave it at that. So you two oh are but a child. <laughs> Pluto, are you gonna be old? Or well, a baby? I, I... <laughs> well, technically, we're all old. No. I mean, we, we each birthday is an anniversary of how old we are. No, not by no. my standards. Well, I guess by your standards, I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm a. Baby. I'm. <laughs> I'm I'm 22. Wow. Yeah, kind of young, Just but a Bobby. not a not a child. I don't think. Yeah, you sound older. Oh no, that's. You're I don't welcome. know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> I've had Depends people say ask. I sound young or old, so it's hmm. Depends who you I ask. Guess it depends on the day. <laughs> uh, so with that in mind, again, don't answer if you don't want to. Uh, what country do you live in? And what state, but do not give city. Of course. <laughs> uh, Manalinks, where do you hail from? I'm a Texas girl. Oh. Texas. Complete with cringy southern accent, a love for sweet tea, and 
Uh, I've actually raised livestock in high school. It was an actual uh, thing that you could do at the school. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. But Wait, sweet really? tea wasn't good enough to be your favorite, I see. Interesting to know. You should try some of that sweet tea. It's kind of, it kind of throws you for a loop. I've been down in that area before, and I've had sweet tea where I've lived. And it compares nothing to the sweet tea down there. <laughs> I know you can't compete with with a nice glass of sweet iced tea. <laughs> My family makes it out of a coffee pot. Now the only sweet tea I had that was supposed to be authentic was from McDonald's when they had that short run Texan sweet tea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it was super sweet, so I can only assume that's somewhat like what it is. It's somewhat. I. I... How, how do I describe it? I remember my 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 cousin who married uh, his wife. She actually told me, "Honey, this ain't no sweet tea. This is a poor, you know, imitation of sweet tea. But you want the real stuff. We put all sorts of sweet in there. This is just like sugar. This is just yeah, sugar. <laughs> and I'm just like oh, okay. <laughs> so Trixie, where do you hail from? I hail. From the United States, and I'm on the Pacific West Coast. I live in Oregon. Oh. Yep, that's so where do, I live. Do, do they have organs there, as in, like, transplant or, uh, or piano organs? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can assure you that everybody here is an organ donor. <laughs> well, I'm not. I want to keep mine. Uh, I I have no choice. I have to be an organ donor if I don't want to be. You know, that's just part of the rule. Aww. But, you know, if you ever go to uh, Oregon, one thing I should say, do not make fun of anybody's names. You know why? Why? Because if you ever diss somebody, you can die of dysentery. Uh, you can what now? I have not learned my lesson to ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's an organ trail joke. So, like, you know how you uh, play... Have you ever played the organ trail? There's a part where someone can die of dysentery, which is a disease. So if you ever make somebody... Make fun of somebody's name, like Terry, you'll die of dysentery. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's They actually had a band like that this. game for my school. Because everyone was putting... Everyone they hated into the game... To see who they yes. could get killed first. Like, what is wrong with you people? I want to play the game. Yeah, I always spent uh, hours during lunch because uh, I wasn't very popular in school when I was in junior high. Mm. I would spend time playing Oregon Trail. But <laughs> enough about me, about what happened then. Let's go ahead and play it out. <laughs> no, I, I, I know what you mean. I get the feeling a lot of us have the similar instance of not being all that popular, being, you know, what we are now. Yeah. Anyway, Pluto. Where do you come from besides space? Well, I'm uh I'm currently in the United States. Uh you know, I'd I'd say the current state, but I think uh That's fine. <laughs> you don't need to answer that. So we're all in No, the... it's 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 not it's not like something like I I it's it's just it, it's it's not exactly the best place. People make a lot of jokes, I'll leave it at that. It's okay. <laughs> so you're from New York? No. So okay, Let, give me forty nine more choices. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you were right, though. No. Nah. It's, it's probably the clown state, California, maybe. That's still a state. Is it? What, what do you mean? That's still a state. <laughs> 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 It's in we a state of disarray. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Gosh. Okay. Well then. Mana Lynx, please tell us what is your favorite video game? Oh, Other than dang. Sonic, of course. <laughs> Sonic, of course. Um, I am a big fan of uh Sonic, of course, but if I chose something non-Sonic. I do really love Dragon Quest Celestial Skies. I've never finished it because I'm always so obsessed with the character creation. 
That uh, sounds so, very familiar. So, it's very valid. I, I've never played the game, but I did play Skyrim. I was able to beat the character creator. I know and move I on to the next there. level. That, that's a hard boss to beat sometimes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the character creator? The I, character creator can spend so much time in for that, especially if you have like mods for Skyrim. Oh. You could just spend hours upon hours trying to try to make your character as perfect as finely detailed as you can. That's I think that's where <laughs> Sonic Forces had it right. Everyone complains it wasn't enough choices, but uh it was just enough to get you out of the door. <laughs> yes. It really was. Uh so Trixie, again, other than the Sonic games, what is your favorite video game? Um, one of my favorite video games has got to be uh, Final Fantasy XIV. I why, really liked why 14? that game. Why fourteen? Why not seven? Um, Cause... seven is okay. I know it kind of gets you into the door, but fourteen had uh, the actual ambience that I was looking for within oh. the Final Fantasy game. So I just and I've had lots of good memories there with other people in that game. I played it. In fact, I used to play that all the time before I became a VTuber myself. And it was only recently that I stopped playing it that I found other avenues to enjoy. So, yeah, I think it's a great game for anybody who's willing to try it. Go ahead. <laughs> but you'll be probably sucked in it for a very long time if it's to your liking. <laughs> hmm. I'm not really into I think RPGs. I can so I don't know if I'll ever play it. So, Pluto, what is your favorite video game? Uh, wow. Fascinating. You know, I never played there, that game. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There's, there's a lot of highlights I like of games, but I don't, I don't know if I have quite a certain favorite one. It's between two, but I can only pick one. Um, yeah. hmm. You can share the other one with us. Oh, yeah, just, is that is that a loud razor? Uh, just, just just make sure everyone can else I, cover your ears. Can I bend, <laughs> to bend the rules for a second? Well, I oh, don't know. Oh no, not the rules that we don't have laid out. Um, uh, I uh, my my uh, I I guess my two favorite games because I I have them both is uh Deltarune and uh Persona Five Royal. I think the ah. soundtracks for those games are amazing oh, their yeah. stories are very well like v very good I, I i cannot attest how how good the story is especially in persona 5 it's it's very long the game but like i'm it's it's just great and like persona 5 has like such great style to it and i <laughs> <laughs> I, I could really fan about persona 5 a lot I noticed. but then deltarune also has like just it's it's what it accomplishes with how like I don't know if limiting is quite the word, but like you know it is just simple sprite work at the end of the day, and just like I I don't know it's, there, there there's just I don't know I I like I like both of them they're they're really good but really though if you don't play them just listen to the soundtracks like I've actually played Delta Rune recently and it's actually very uh, unique in its own right. I enjoy Toby Fox's work in both Undertale and uh, Delta Room. So here. it's it's quite a discovery to find the music and the enjoyment and the atmosphere that they bring. So I just recently played Delta Room uh, this week and a little bit last week. So I, I can understand that it's definitely up there in some of my favorite games, Pluto. Yo, <laughs> yes. So. Del Delta Rune is such a vibe. It's it all is. got the battle. Th oh, dude, there's so. It's so. just. It's great. So, since the mm -hmm. other two already said Manalings, what do you think of Delta Rune? Never played, and I've also never played Undertale, so I, I've heard it's a good game. I just Sean. never played it. I'm sure. And you don't have to play Undertale now. to play Delta Rune. That is. Uh, yeah. I have a thing where I. Am terrified of playing games that have multiple endings, where even just the smallest mistake could give you a bad ending. Oh no! It no, gives no. me so much anxiety no, no, that I'm not no, able no. to play them. No, no, no. Oh, that's that's, that's why that's why Undertale, the first one, was best because it had the true ending, the genocide run. 
That's that's not. That is that was not. The, that was the well, best wait a ending. Wait. No, no it wasn't. that's the first so ending I got. And short and cruel. I, it, what? I still remember the first time I played Undertale. I had a friend who bought me the game, and I was playing it. And they just told me, "Just play it. See where you go." And after I told them what I did, they're like, "Play it again." And I played it again because I got the normal route, and I got the pacifier. And I actually found more fun playing the pacifier out than I did any other out. <laughs> so. Ah, so you're good at Katushu. Good to know. Well, it has the most content, that ending. It has it the most content, seems, you yeah. Know, the best that, resolved that relationship me, wise. That actually brings me to the next question Mana Links, do you have any special powers for your character? And do you use those powers for good or for awesome? I'm guessing awesome is evil. It. Depends on your definition. Hi. Selfishness. I use my powers to shape shift. I have many different forms, but my favorite form, uh, besides my uh, human-ish form, is just changing my arms into cyborg arms because I think they're cool. Hmm. They're very noodly. Oh, you like cyborgs? I mean, what's he not does. Yeah. So it's fascinating. When when you change, do you use it to go into cognito? Do you use it to uh, to to you know? Do you use it for good or evil, or or are you just selfish? I'm I'm just bored. Awesome. they most of my shape shifts are just different iterations of these of this color palette. Uh, just what I would look like in different fo in like different species and stuff. I recommend but it easily. I, I just do it because I'm bored and I like to dimension hop. That's fair. So, wait, so you also have the power to jump into different dimensions? Well, I don't. I, I bar okay. borrowed. I definitely borrowed something, yes. Okay, okay. I was about to say, that's a pretty big power to just let slip out. Yeah, no, no. I, I know a guy. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> uh, when we're done here, can I have his number? Trixie, what is your special power, and what do you use it for? Um, I actually use uh, I use a power ring to go back and forth to human and Mobian. Uh, my other powers are I can actually fly. Uh, you can't see it, but I have a big, uh, big, big tail. <laughs> it's a very red panda tail, and that helps me fly in up in the sky. Ah, uh, the couch is eating um, it right now. That's the problem. Just yes. like my coins. It's munching it, and uh, it's not too pleasant. But <laughs> Well, if you find any coins in there, remember they're mine. Yeah, I'm also in the process of training to become super. I'm learning from two of my best friends. Uh, I have that welcomed me as a Mobian was uh, Zonic and Matthew, who was on your podcast uh, last week, I believe, or the week before. They've been actually teaching me how to go super. But I'm not getting anywhere close recently. <laughs> well, if, if you're anything like Vegeta, just throw a temper tantrum. No, I'm oh not going to throw a temper tantrums. I'm just going to keep going at it as much as I can. So, I mean, it's like what Zonic always tells me. It's just like, it takes effort to be where you are right now. So don't ever give up that effort. And it takes time. So... Hmm. So you're not a hero because heroes give up. Villains don't get themselves down. They always come back. I don't tend to classify me as anything. If anybody wants to label me a villain because I'm trying to strive to be the best that I can in whatever I am, that could help other people in the end. If I can make anybody smile at the end of the day, then yeah, I succeeded. Hmm. Interesting way of being evil, but I suppose it can work. Yeah. So I mean, being out. evil is a perspective thing, really. It is. Like, you can be a hero, like, to your people, but still be a villain to anyone else. Uh -huh. and, like, Pluto you know... gets it. Pluto gets it. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's how it works. Is it kind of like having such an evil plan as to save the world? Well, no, it, it, it depends who's doing the labeling. Uh... Now I'm going to take Pluto's turn. For for me, uh, for, with this uh, character's backstory... All right, let me open up the wiki here. 
So he better he's get his random wiki. So he's got a book. <laughs> so in short, uh, so heavy. Uh, but no, in short, basically, uh, the Mad King was the bad guy, and uh, he did not like the Rebellion group, you know, not being a conformance. Uh, anyway, so Razor was part of the, the Rebellion group, so the king says, this Rebellion group, I don't like them, so I'm going to label them the League of Evil. And they they took it as a, a mark of, of pride. It's like, well, if saving lives is evil, then I hate to see what you do. I hate to yeah. see what you call yourself. And that explains the LE on my uh, my avatar. So now Pluto, or like of awesome. E, e awesome is not doesn't start with a silent E. You're right, it's not my. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to learn how to spell Pluto. What about you? <laughs> um. What well, are like, your I've, powers? I've, I've got two. Oh. Yeah, we're we're back at two again. Um. But I thought your favorite number was negative eight. Oh, it is, but <laughs> that that would mean I'd have negative power. What the, would that even mean? Uh, I guess debuffs and the like. Would oh, you say yeah, that plasma is a negative power? Wait, what? Plasma? Yeah, wouldn't plasma be a negative power? Actually, no. I'm, I'm... I mean, actually, that's kind of what I have. My, uh, oh, my nice. quote-unquote hair. I don't... I think that's what you guys have. I don't quite have that luxury um it's it's a bit random i'd <laughs> what like i i can like summon more of it mm -hmm. and throw it at people Where's and i ha i have a little like weapon to like shoot certain like elements or chemical reactions to it to wait. cause something to happen wait i thought i thought your hair was yogurt my hair is what yogurt no 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 this is a space nebula hair Oh. Did you eat it? <laughs> I. Did you just I, say I to try to? That. Don't don't eat. Just Do get... not under any circumstance <laughs> eat, it. eat it. Just... No 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 no. Look, I I may like sweets. From behind you. <laughs> no Lacey. no. You could implode, explode, cause a temperature thing, or nothing. You know I. Uh... <laughs> It, it's very random like that, and I don't know every <laughs> chemical combination or scenario. So it's I, very I, volatile, but it's okay. I have it under control right now. Right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, for now, for what, now, for now. Okay, for now. Uh, we better wrap this up because I don't want to explode. <laughs> don't worry. I, that, 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 that was just the first one, which well, well, is already off, pretty spoofs, I guess. First so, off, it would have to involve you trying to eat her hair, which Linksy wanted to do. So I, as long as you're not wanting to eat her hair, I think you'll be fine. And yeah, don't do that. So that, you, said that would you, had, be you said you had two powers. Was the other one that uh, the gun? No, no, no. That's okay. a weapon. Yeah, I don't think we consider weapons no. power. <laughs> no, I was about to correct you on that. But no, you already knew. Never mind. So what is your second power? Uh, it's actually gravity. I, uh, it, it allows me to fly, but not quite full flying, I suppose, but I can change my own sense of gravity. Ah, so, so I it's just float. your gravity, so you can't throw, make someone just feel really heavy, it's just on, only on yourself? No, I can definitely do it to you if you pissed me off enough, but oh. I'm in a good mood. So I can have my own orbit? I'm, I, I don't know if you, I don't know why you'd want an orbit. Oh, yeah. Just imagine, like, the food just floating around, circles around you. Just grab it when you want it and put it back in the orbit when you're done. You want your own, you want your own anti-gravity field around you so you can just put your food up in, this, up in the air so you can just grab it whenever you want. What if it rains? Or, like, it gets old? I hear food expires in this planet, so I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't think that'd be a very good idea or a good use of that power. I, I can just imagine. I can just imagine Razor putting his old sandwich up in the air, forgetting about it, and then like a day later, it comes hitting him in the face, and it's like all <laughs> oh, rotten, and, like, not, yeah, slimy. <laughs> and slimy, and just like, ew, what's this? Get it out of here! But you know, you you got the anti-gravity <laughs> matter; it's already up. You can't throw it away. It won't go anywhere besides in that force field, so you're stuck with it. Interesting. <laughs> So let's see here. Uh, what was the other question I had? I had a list, but I kind of lost it. 
So, now that we know your powers, where you live, your age, yeah, it's, it's all coming together nicely. Yeah, good luck trying to find me. <laughs> Asking for a social security number next. Actually, what was your mother's maiden name? <laughs> oh, like... Don't. Uh, um, no, thank you. I don't, I don't know where she is and what she's called anymore. <laughs> so, moving on, the, uh... That's what it was. We had video games. Now we're going to take the games out of it. What is your favorite video? Movie. Movie. Manolings, tell us. All right. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. I do really like Encanto, the, the new movie. Encanto. I love the movie. I've been singing the songs nonstop. My favorite one as a child, though, was it's one that most people actually kind of hate. It's a, a Christmas movie called The Nuttiest Nutcracker. Uh, the Nuttiest it Nutcracker? It's, the, it's terribly animated, but it's hilarious to me because of how bad it is. Ah, uh, so bad it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. Ah, uh, but what was the first one? I'd never heard that one before. You never heard? And can't tell the new Pixar movie? Uh, I thought it was Disney. No. Oh, it, oh, I thought they were the same thing. Uh, no, a <laughs> Disney movie. No, 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 no. Are they? <laughs> I haven't kept track they're, of they're what Disney has Disney. accumulated. They're owned uh, by Disney, uh, but they aren't really. I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's hard to. It's a yeah. It's affiliation. My brain hurts. <laughs> uh, the monopoly uh, that Disney has. Right. And one day they'll own you too. So, Trixie, what is your favorite movie? Oh, wow, that's a, that's in itself is a big, uh, big question. I, I would have to say now, recently, probably one of my favorite movies is probably You Got Mail. But the one before You Got Mail, I would have to say Land Before Time, the first one. I really love that movie. It that is a classic. Cry. It is. Yeah. I love seeing Littlefoot pop out of his egg and just like with his mom and whatnot. It just makes me so happy. And when he loses his mom, it tears oh, me up. Oh, that was hilarious. Uh, oh, such just a comedy. to see the journey, just to see the journey he takes to become a lot more self-reliant on himself and the people around him. It really reflects upon my own life, you know? And mm. then at the end of the song, it's like, don't lose your way. And You'll always find it if you keep trying at it and you don't really necessarily give up. No matter where life takes you, it can take you to great places. So that's one of my favorite movies. But again, You Got Mail kind of reflects a lot of like personal like lives. Like We have people who hate each other, but online they secretly love each other, but they don't know each other in real life that they do. Ah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, but they know each other. They hate each other in real life. And then when they find out they've actually been sending love letters to <laughs> each other, it's like, it, how would you react in that situation? Throw a balloon in my mouth. <laughs> 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 no, those, those sound like wholesome ones. So, Pluto, what are your favorite, what is your favorite uh, movie? Um, hmm. I'd have to say, uh, Wreck It Ralph, uh, really? the first That's one. I, uh, I never saw I, it. <laughs> you've never, it's, I, I mean, it, to, I guess it is a video game movie, but it's not like for a specific video game. Yeah, I've, I've seen clips. It's like got all, all, a lot of references in there. It's, That's yeah, insane. it's, it's, it's really good. And the moral is very, it, it's very interesting because it's not exactly quite break from your role. That's good. It's more like sometimes you have to do what you're supposed to do for the greater good of everyone. Uh, yeah. So it's accept your role, get back in line. Well, no, no, it's... Be a it's, cog of the machine. Got it. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. It's so, not quite that either. It's So it's not you'd have to You'd have to watch it because the main character is a villain. That, that yeah. is... And you, that you, makes you, it the best movie of the year. <laughs> yeah, I, I I do like villain stories, yeah. but but it's interesting. It's complex. He he doesn't quite enjoy his life because everyone treats him terribly. So he wants to be a hero, but he realizes along the way that he's not really 
good at being a hero. He's yeah. that's not what he's like meant to be, but that's not exactly like a bad thing. I don't, like, I don't know. Don't it's it's about him. self acceptance. What yeah. is self acceptance? Like, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, because I've never seen the clip online. The guy's like, you don't, you're not a bad guy. You're just a bad guy. Oh yeah, that was at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Now, real talk. You should you should watch it. It's pretty it's pretty nice. I've been wanting to watch it. I just haven't because I'm lazy. It's kind of like don't judge a book by its cover, you know. It's oh, yeah. There's, See, there's much telling, more in there. I've been telling people that the same thing. Every time they find the leather book with a screaming face on it, they say, you don't know if it's about necromancy. You haven't even opened it yet. And they say, I can't. It's been eating my hand. Well, that's not my a, problem. It could be a good That's book. a bit on way. That's... Okay. One, if a book is eating your hand, something is terribly wrong there. That's, and... that's not a book if it is. Yeah, it's not no, a it's... book. It shouldn't even be classified as a book. <laughs> no, it's just an evil book. Uh, anyway, <laughs> speaking of books, what is yours, Mana? Oh, dang. Um, okay. There's this one. I'm, it, I hope it counts because it's a manga. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my favorite series is called Hollow Fields. I love uh, Hollow Fields. Yeah, it's about a, a little girl who uh, was supposed to go to boarding school, but she somehow ended up at Mad Scientist Boarding School. <laughs> yes. And the art style for the... Because they they have like a new version, which is the same, but the art style is different. The original art style was so inspiring to me. Also, I love I love the story. Hmm. So wait, it's, it's a picture book? It's a... It's a... It's a manga. It's an American oh, manga. Uh, okay. manga. Yeah. yeah. So it is a picture book. A book with pictures? <laughs> yes. For children? The creator is actually based in Australia. <gasps> really? Yeah, I used to read Hollow Fields myself, and she actually lives in Australia. She actually was going to be uh, more involved with different projects, but Hollow Fields came out of that. So it was actually a blessing in disguise for her. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So, Tricky, since you seem to know about books and authors, what is your favorite book? Asking me that question is like asking me, uh, what's my favorite genre? <laughs> well, then. <laughs> um, I like, I like a lot of mystery books. Uh, is there, I, is there one that you can recommend then, if you can't pick a favorite? Oh, my goodness. It's hard to say, because I, I just get so involved with them. Um... I have like hundreds in my head right now and I can't think of one. <laughs> Too many there's to pick. So many choices. Yeah, there's so many choices. But if I had to pick one, um, I would have to say probably Grimm's Fairy Tales is probably one of my favorite books. Because oh. there's just so many stories in there. And when you read those stories, they kind of reflect uh different scenarios that you were told probably when you were a child. Yeah, Because we were all told different we were told different uh, types of stories about yeah. these uh, um, stories. And I read them now and I'm like, wait, uh, Snow White had a mom. The stepmother died by dancing to death. I didn't hear that before. Uh, uh, Cinderella's sisters are basically, their eyes are pecked out. Oh. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, all these like horror scenarios that you would think of are in uh, Grimm's fairy tales, mm. and uh, it kind of makes you think, why didn't I get told this dark story? It oh, sounds well, so I already much know more interesting. Why. I already know why, <laughs> because your parents didn't want you to have nightmares when you went to bed. You can't sell <laughs> merchandise with blood. Right. What do you mean? Red's a perfectly fine color to have on your shirt. <laughs> And pants and other I'm, places. I'm sure it is. So, Pluto, since you're such the critique on colors and stuff, what kind of book do you like? Uh, so, while, while everyone book? was talking, I... Yes, the cover of the book is actually red, yes. Oh, so it's not purple. Ugh. Um, I, I looked it up because I, I thought it... I, it, I thought it was just called Spinglish, but I remember it had a bigger name. And so I have I I pulled up the name of the I pulled up the cover of it, and actually the the name of this book is called 
How to succeed in business and politics and everything else without really lying with Spinglish, the definitive dictionary of deliberately deceptive language. Uh... That was okay. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, it, it's a mouthful. I know, but you can't tell right now. But I got a big smile on my face. It's a. It's basically. It it looks. It's very much a dictionary, but it's like a dictionary of how to be a smartass and maybe like, kind of like. I need this book. Lie without really like <laughs> lying, you know, like saying a certain word that means something, but it can mean another thing. But if you use it in a sentence, it's like, ah, oh, you get away with it. Yeah. And I don't know. It's it's. I, I really liked it. I, I got it when I was a, uh, well, um, uh, when I was a bit younger. Wait, but who, I who I'm definitely it reading it now, like a bit more, and I'm like, dang, this is actually some pretty good stuff. Wait, who gave no, it to you? Who wanted you to be the, the little backstabber? Oh, no one gave it to me. It was a oh, I, I came from it. an airport. <laughs> no, I didn't find it. I I was on the way to the airport, and uh, it was like. At like you know one of those like airport stores or something, yeah. and it was like kind of hidden away, some kind of. So oh. I like found it, and I was like, hmm. And then I yoinked it because I had spare money, and I I don't know. So it's kind of lame of me. I don't really read books that much, or at least like physical books anyway. Right. But like I don't know, some something was. <laughs> the the I was like Spinglish. Hmm, I could be a smartass to people. That'd be kind of cash. <laughs> ah. I, I I don't really want to be like a smartass, but I think it's kind of funny saying things that are like, I don't know. Well, not only that, but like having different. that's handy so that you can point uh spot other people doing it and protect yourself. Yeah, actually, yes, that's so pretty good. Don't that, get deceived. Yeah, so that's kind of why my favorite book. I'm only saying mine now because I really appreciate Pluto's choice. Uh, mine is uh. No joke, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Really? Yeah, and like, a lot of stuff's like, know your enemy and know yourself, so that book that you like would assist with that. I and, mean, it most certainly would. And it's weird, because like, uh, the book obviously was made for ancient China, with when the most advanced thing they had was carriages and, and uh, bows and arrows, but yeah. businesses today still reference it because it's... It could be applied to businesses as well, as well as modern military. It's just a good round book. That's timeless. It it yeah, it, it still is relevant. Yeah, which means it's very good. Like it'll still say like, make sure your carriages are are well supplied and stuff. It's like, well, obviously we don't have carriages, but our uh, trucks and and jeeps and vans or our supply ships, yeah. It's a very misleading title. It can be applied oh, no, it's, to it's, many it was, other. It was very much intended for war. It was, but, okay, but yeah, no, it's it, it was a war, definitely a war book. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it just it just so happened to be applied to businesses and stuff because it's a cutthroat business without the murder. Usually. I see. Usually. Uh, so we are reaching the hour mark. So it's time for the final question, or rather questions the final okay. plot twist here and this time we'll go the other way around on top of that so pluto oh no yes pluto here we are you must ask me a question i have to ask you a question yes i bet the other two won't know what to do when it's their turn oh believe me i'm Crap. prepared <laughs> well, i guess none of us are prepared hmm. twist. a question I'm not sure. What what would be a great question to ask you? There's a plethora of questions. I just question asked my sanity. question. Hmm. Pardon? Question to sanity. No, no. I I think I think I already <laughs> know where the sanity levels are. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident where his sanity levels are as I'm, well. I'm I'm so glad you people think you could read me like a book cover. Well, I mean, <laughs> statistically, not nah, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. You um, put that red book away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, uh, I, I won't, I won't. Um, wow, I don't really quite have a question for you. You're, 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 you're quite the character, and I don't really know I'm not a what would be the I'm angle on you. Uh, hard angles, mostly triangles. 
We'll see triangles. It is. Hmm. Well, how how about this then? How about this then? Um. Normal golf or mini golf? I have never played normal golf. I would like to try it. So I'm going to have to go with mini golf because that's the only thing I've ever played. Perfect. It's the only correct choice here. <laughs> well then, Trixie, tell me. Tell me what you want to know about me. All right. Since you really want to know the Not question really. that I have for you. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> Some devious oh, laughter going on nice. over there. <laughs> um, let me see. Which one should I pick? Ah, oh, shoot! I remember I wanted to ask you a question. What was that? Uh, what what's with the heart thing over your head? Are you like a, a chow or something? Oh goodness! How many times did I get that? <laughs> uh, like, I really don't know. It's a legit question. <laughs> And okay, if anyone but... ever asks you, you can just say, go to this link of this podcast and just watch the last five minutes. Okay, the heart is actually from the creator who made my character. Uh, her name is Little Miss Animator. Oh. Uh, she actually, I, me and her designed uh, who I am today. And uh, she likes to put hearts over her character's head. Oh. So I happen to be one of the characters she created. Oh, and, so, it's, so it's like yeah. a leftover uh, callback. Yeah, it's like a callback. Neat. And I will talk to my mom sometimes, and I'll be like, so people asking me why I have a heart over my head. Am I like a chow or something? <laughs> <laughs> and my mom's like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole story behind that one is uh, it's actually coming to fruition. Um some of the lore behind it is uh, this was given to me from my first Chow Champ before he left this world. He, because I took care, because I found him again after my sister deleted him, uh, which was really strange. Uh, she deleted him from the Chow Garden. And I was so upset with her that I was just like, I'll never see him again. Well, I hadn't unlocked uh, all the other gardens in Sonic Adventure 2. And I decided to raise a dark chow because a uh, champ was going to be a hero chow. So after I made my dark chow and opened the evil gardens, I went downstairs and lo and behold, champ was there. And Aww. as soon as I saw him, I gave him a hug and I was just so excited to get him back in my arms. Cause you know, once you put a chow in the machine, it's gone forever. Yeah. He should have uh, been deleted. He, he should have been gone, but yeah, he actually weird. reappeared. So it was actually a sign. And uh, that's what Champ I'm saying. Actually, that's just creepy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he 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 went. He he only can go so far away. He didn't want to leave us. So it was just like as soon as he saw me, he gave me a hug, and then he kind of blessed my my head with a, a little pomp that turned into a heart. That's how I kind of describe it. So so, so it's one of those <laughs> creepy pastas that aren't that creepy. Not really. <laughs> no pasta either, man. But <laughs> but I don't know how to answer that question. Um, but the question <laughs> I ha I have for you is: If you did have a chow, what would he look like? Uh, he would look like dinner. Oh, oh my goodness! My so like food. My running theme joke is: Chows are delicious. I, are I they? Hope I hope you're. I hope you're prepared to meet chaos. They're, they're, they're very moist. <laughs> they're really good on the grill, especially with a bit of garlic. Yeah, a bit of garlic I, butter. I, oh, so my house, you then. actually eat chow? Well, I, I, I hope. Well, no, mm -hmm. not really, because people see them as pets. But I imagine they taste good. Yeah, it might chow not... tastes like that might be something to look into. I, I really I wonder what kind course. of dad he would be. <laughs> Constantly drooling, fork in hand. Yeah, like he would eat his own young. <laughs> no, that's cannibalism. That's different. Love the dead silence. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh no, he's right. He would be a cannibal." <laughs> yeah, we all yes. just had like a moment of realization. There, it's like, mm. Mm. nah, animals are different from your own children. I wouldn't do that. Uh. But no, like I get having pets and stuff because like 
I had a cat before and my family had had dogs. So like I would never eat them. But whenever I see a chow like in game I'm like that I wonder what that tastes like. I, f I feel like uh uh snake eater. It's a chow fruit. You can eat a chow fruit. That's not the same. That's like eating yeah, it's dragon fruit. fruit. It's like eating dragon fruit. It's not like eating a dragon. Have you eaten dragon fruit? No, but I have had things. You know, I'm like, sorry, can, can, but you you can't compare it then. <laughs> no, I think his comparison's valid. Do you know what dragon fruit tastes like? Only I don't need to know what dragon fruit tastes like to understand what he's trying to convey. And what do you think it tastes like, for just for comparison's sake? I, I've only had uh, candies claim to taste like dragon fruit, so I can really say. Okay, dragon fruit tastes a lot like kiwi. Oh, I love kiwi. Yeah, Ooh. so now you know. Interesting. <laughs> so, Manalinx, raise me with your question. All right. Uh, my question is, is there anything you are afraid of? In, in like, real life or, or like, in, in like, horror movies or, or what? Because I got two big ones. Yeah. Um, you can do both. All right. So when it comes to video games and horror movies, they never do it for me. Probably because I tend to overthink them. But the one that gets me, and I don't know why is Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. I don't know why, but every time I see it, it just makes my skin crawl. In real life, it's uh, the typical spiders, snakes, and, and not, not so much bugs, but I crush them before don't they get a chance. Don't go to Australia. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't want to go there. <laughs> I don't want to go to Texas either because I got scorpions. Um, but yeah, snakes... Snakes and spiders tend to make me jump, partly because they're venomous, some of them, but I can never tell the difference. But if you're going for a bit more deep fear, uh, it would be to uh, basically die alone, or have someone you love die in your arms, or the end of the universe. I mean, this one's valid. Yeah. The end of the universe is a long time from oh, yeah, now. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's, yeah. more, it's more of a fear of like the human race surviving it. How can they? Oh, they won't. Like I don't a, know. Other people think they can, but that requires. Grid. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. Like it shouldn't matter, but it's more of a curiosity fear. Like in the universe is such a big place. We don't know what's going on in uh, the whole cosmic reality. Well, there are several theories about the the universe. One says. And again, some of them have been disproven, uh, but one says, because uh, the Big Bang has everything expand outward, at some point it may collapse back in on itself. Another theory says uh, entropy or the heat death of the universe, which seems more likely, where um, everything is evenly spread out throughout all of space, including materials, energy, heat, and because space is very, very, very big, it's going to be very, very, very cold. So, uh, with, like, no light, because eventually all the stars will burn out. So it's just like, how how do you survive? And there are theories saying, like, oh, we can just punch a hole to another dimension or, or universe and, and escape that way, assuming that universe is safe enough. It's like, but that's assuming those theories are hold true, and humans can get the uh, power and technology to do so by that point. So it's like, yeah, there's a lot of caveats here. Granted, we're talking like trillions of years. Again, you really can't. Um, in my own personal um, view that I've learned about universe and life, there are very, uh, there are things you really can't control. But you can try and enjoy them for what they are right now and make the best of it. Are you trying to Yeah, I, I agree. Yes. Well, I How mean, dare you? <laughs> she's just trying to reassure you. I mean, you're yeah. thinking of things that'll be far beyond our entire generations, generations. That it's so far. As you know, it's and you guys don't have all the answers, but that's all right. But I I'm sure have one the day. Well, maybe you won't, but maybe hey, your great, 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 great. Great, is, great, great is, grandchildren might. Are you, are you implying that I'm going to have children now? 
Rude. Oh, you're not going to have children? Then perhaps your line ends here. Yes. Probably. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. Over, <laughs> over 30 years old and still single. <laughs> hey, sometimes okay. it'd be like that. Yeah. You know, what's, what's the saying? Ocean and fish or something. No, no, no. Uh, the, the, the saying goes, don't drink water because fish poop in water. They do. That's why I only drink soda. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. that, that sounds like a good place to stop stealing someone else's joke. <laughs> so, I believe that ends the podcast for today. Uh, Pluto, is there any final words you want to say? Any uh, shout outs or, uh, or uh, shilling? Uh, thanks for listening if you came to listen here or actually just Razor, thanks for having me, you know. Good, good, th thank you. You know, I, I, I've i never really done a collab before. It's my first time. And you know Aww. what, th 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 thank you, Mana and Trixie. You know, you, get, you guys are good company. You're, you're, all, you're all good company. I, I certainly enjoyed myself. I, I thought I was going to be a, I don't know. <laughs> Str strangers are part of the thing. <laughs> um yeah if you're asking me the same thing razor mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i would just say uh i enjoyed being here i enjoyed having uh Pluto and i always have room for people who want to do things and enjoy uh time with other people because variety is the spice of life i say and we were meant to do many wonderful things throughout this life not do the same thing over and over again. So whether we meet new people or new experiences, I'm always for it. So thank you for having me here. And I look forward to seeing all of you again, maybe sometime another time. So, and everybody here who came to watch us, thank you so much for all the support. Yeah. Thank you. It was really nice to talk to everybody. I love meeting new people. More Mobian faces, the better. I, yes. I love everybody. <laughs> I just love love. I wouldn't go that far myself. I'm picky with my friends. Fun. You can be picky. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Mom, you, just, don't pick uh... your nose. <laughs> you can pick your nose. You just can't pick your friend's nose. Is there any uh, shout outs or, or, or links or anything? Oh, links. Uh, I, you know, I, like your Twitter I, again. I stream, I, I stream games and I suffer. Uh, on my Twitch, which is just Nebula underscore Cone, same thing as Twitter, I suppose. Hey, okay. um, I have some of the shout outs that I can say is I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the podcast. I'm on Twitch as well. Just look for Trixie underscore V, and you'll find me there. And you'll find a plethora of other people I'm connected to, like Link C. And my other friends as well, like Sonic and Matthew. Um, but yeah, shout out to them as well. So Sonic and Matthew, they've been a big inspiration to me. And I wouldn't have gotten as far as I have right now without their constant support as well. So. Wait a minute. You and Lynx are already friends? Yes, you we've been cheated. friends. You are, no. you can't know each other on this. That's cheating. <laughs> Joke's on you. Poor, poor Pluto. <laughs> she and I are the only one that don't know anything. All fine, you know? It's just <laughs> spice of life, right? New faces. Right. Right. Uh, links, any, any links or shout outs you want to do before we end this? Yeah. I will, again, shout out Zonic and Matthew because, again, they. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be as confident as I am in the streaming or the VTubing. I probably wouldn't even be VTubing without them. Oh. And uh, on for for links uh, besides me. <laughs> uh, That's the name. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, I'm on Twitter almost all the time, um, and I stream about every other day, and then weekends on Twitch uh, at the just. Just the mana links, and I stream games and art. Nice. Sweet. And I will say, if you're already watching this, then you already know my my uh, Twitch and whatnot. But it's all Razor Tim Cores uh, across the board, and I recently changed the YouTube uh, to be Razor Tim Core as well. So that's good to go. And my shoutouts are to. Everyone who uh, 
who wanted to be here and whether they were before or anticipating to be, as well as a few others that, uh, you know, just emotional support throughout the years. Uh-huh. You know, you people know who you are. I don't want to shout you out because I don't know if you want to be associated with not quite fairies. <laughs> I know I don't. So he does have a caring side. Aww. What? No, I want, I want all the attention on me, not them. <laughs> it's quite caring and more like coping. Coping, yeah. More like a coping Mexico. You want some copium? No, I'm good. Whoa, you're, you're, whoa, you're, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, and I think that's whoa. a good time to stop. We're not doing drugs. <laughs> Have a good day, don't, everybody. Don't do that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> you just had to end it with copium. 